Well, students who feel uneasy about returning to school will be allowed to finish classes online. One young girl who is preparing to re-enter witness what no child ever should. Yesterday, I had the chance to speak with Alea Eastman about what happened inside that classroom that day. Her mother, Stacy Ann Llewellyn, and their attorney, Mark Iglarsh, were also with me. So take me back to Valentine's Day, uh, just a couple of weeks ago. You, you go into school, and what class were you in? I was in Holocaust History, room 1214. Holocaust History. And what was the first notice you had that something was, was wrong? Well, there was high security because students were smoking in the restrooms that day, but nobody thought anything of it. And it was like a regular class period. And then around 2.15, we heard the first shots. And we didn't know what it was, but immediately we took cover. But unfortunately, my side of the classroom couldn't get to the side we were supposed to be out of view of the window in the door. So we were out in the open. So when you say you went to the wrong side of the classroom, what does that mean? We were in the corner that you could be seen from the window that was in the door. And had, was, had that been taught to you in a drill not to do that? Yes, but we couldn't make it to the side, other side in time. What, why not? Because it happened so fast. Within five seconds of me sitting down in that corner is when he came to my class and started shooting. Did you have any idea whether this was a drill or this no, was real? No, we had Some students thought it was a drill. That's why we didn't take it as serious. I did, but I didn't know what it was. And at first, I thought it was a prank because it was Valentine's Day, and I thought it was a paintball gun because I saw red on the floor. But it was blood, and it wasn't a prank, so. Did you see the shooter? No. No. Did I was you... looking down the entire time. So you heard the gunshots but didn't see the shooter? No. Describe that sound. It was just loud pops. And I could, like, feel the wind of the bullets just pass my face. Were you praying? What was going through your head? I don't even remember. It was just so much different things. I just immediately thought that he was coming inside, so I told myself I need to look like I'm dead as well. How old are you? 16. Turn 17 next month. So you... It, it occurred to you that you should play dead? Yes. And then what did you do? Well, I was in behind a boy, Nicholas, and when he fell over, I just followed his every movement and I fell over with him, and then I put him on top of me because he was already... You knew he, he yes. passed. Was it sheer panic? I mean, when, when you're going through this, is it panic? Do you have the consciousness of thought? It... I just told myself I need to look like I look, I'm, I'm dead because I thought he was coming in to get us all one by one. Were people talking to one another? No, it was just screams. Was there any chance, I mean, people always think I'd, I'd run or I'd jump out a window or I'd do, was there any chance to do anything? When I first heard the shots, my, I looked at the window and my first instinct was I need to get out of here. But it was, there was blinds and it was a window where you have to like roll and I knew I would probably die as I'm trying to open the window. Mm -hmm. And you had five seconds. Yeah. I understand there was a girl who, just as the shooting began, wanted people to hand out, or handed out books to people. Yes. Can you tell us about that? Elena. I wasn't exactly next to her. Her best friend was next to me, and she was across, to, fr across from me. And she said, get books to shield our heads. And I remember my last words to her was, that's so smart because I would have never thought to just shield our heads with books. Mm -hmm. And then as I touched the book, that's when he started. Do you know what happened to her? She passed away, unfortunately. How many students in your class were killed that day? Two, but six got shot. You hid, you remained sheltered in place. The SWAT team got there? Yes. What did you think when they... Did they I, knock on the door or what no, did they? No, they came in screaming, but I didn't know it was the SWAT team. So Samantha, another the Samantha that was next to me, Helena's best friend, I asked her, I said, I'm not putting my hands in the air and getting behind this filing cabinet unless I know for a fact it's not him coming back with other people, unless I know it's the SWAT team. And she said it is, and I didn't believe her until I saw one come up, run past us and say, it's okay. And then that's when I put my hands up and I ran out. On that tape, somebody took out their phone and, and took video yes. in the moment. And you can hear someone screaming at the end of that tape. That's me. That's you. Yes. 
Did you get the chance to call your mom? And yes, I called her and my father while it was happening. While it was happening. Stacy, and what was that, what was that call like for you? It was the worst day of my life. The worst day. Had, did you know that there was a shooting before you got the call? Uh, um, she called me and I looked at the time and school was still in session. So I was like, why is she calling me and she's in class? Mm -hmm. So I hung up. But you weren't thinking anything was wrong. Oh, no. No. And then you, you called again? Yes. And what did you say to your mom? I just told her, I'm, I love you so much. I'm sorry for everything bad that I did in my life. Just forgive me. And I just kept saying I love you to the point where she had to hang up on me because she didn't want to hear everything that was going on. It was... I it, thought she was... I thought he was actually going to shoot her. I, I, I envisioned her saying, please don't shoot me. I didn't want to hear that. I didn't want that to be the last thing pertaining to my daughter. It was too overwhelming? It was more than that. It was just too much. Hello Today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.